Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. And today we come to the end of Psalm 41, and we're going to look at the third step on the other side of our chiasm. Remember now, we've had that chiastic structure which the psalmist used, the blessed man, the prayer, the trouble, the prayer, the blessed man. And now we've come to that third step on the second side, the blessed man, in verses 11 and 12. And then we have the ending, which we're going to talk about today as well, in verse 13, which is the end of book 1. So here we go. Let me read for you 11, 12, and 13. In this I know that you delighted me, for my enemy will not do evil against me. And I, in my integrity, you will perfect me, and you will set me before you forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from eternity to eternity. Amen and amen. Now, he says there in verse 11, This I know that you will delight, that you delight in me. So here we have something else we're going to talk about with the blessed man. He's saying of him, of the Lord, that the Lord delights in the blessed man. The Lord keeps the blessed man from evil. My enemy will do no evil against me. So there's triumph here. You know, he's had quite a bit of trouble beginning there in verse 5. The enemy in verse 5 is mentioned, my enemies have spoken against me. May wickedness speak to his heart. May he gather wickedness to himself. He goes out and talks. They whisper against me. They plan evil. The wicked thing overwhelms him. He's not able to rise up and so forth. So he's there's, the enemy's been spoken of quite a bit. And also in the first step in the of the blessed man there in verse 2, the soul of his enemies you know the lord's not going to give me give him over to that and now we see the we see the you know the revelation of that this i know that you delighted me for my enemy will not do evil against me he triumphs in the fact that even though he passed through all that trouble yet he knows that the lord delights in him and that the lord will keep him the enemy's not going to do him any any evil any trouble oh he might i mean he might try to But whatever evil the enemy designs against the saints, ladies and gentlemen, is for the glory of God and for the advancement of the church. It's never just an end unto itself. No, the Lord uses it for his own glory and his own gain. Verse 12, and I in my integrity, you will perfect me. Well, here's the answer to his prayer there. Where was that prayer? In verse 4, he says, I have said, be gracious to me, heal my spirit, for I've sinned against you. Well, Look at this in verse 12. In my integrity, you will perfect me. So exactly, he said, I've sinned. Now you you see the answer to that. The Lord has healed him. He's perfecting him. And then the, the B part of 12, and you will set me before you forever. Forever. That sounds like Psalm 23, 6, doesn't it? And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yeah. The Lord will set me before him forever. That's beautiful. The blessed man here described. And so we're adding one, you will do no evil, you will delight in me. Evil the enemy will do no evil against me. That's two. You will perfect me, that's three. You will set me before you forever, that's four. So we're adding these four things now to the seven that we had before, which brings us to eleven things here about the blessed man. So we go to the beginning, you know, right from the very top. He will deliver him, keep him, revive him, bless him. He will not give him over to the soul of his enemies. He will support him and heal him. And then we add the four here at 11 and 12. This is beautiful. This is the blessed man. The Lord is going to, to demonstrate goodness to the blessed man forever. Now, in verse 13, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Now, this is my translation, okay? So forgive me if it's a little stiff from eternity to eternity most of the time this will be translated from everlasting to everlasting dr j vernon mcgee used to say from the vanishing point in the past to the vanishing point in the future you just so far out you can't see it anymore so from eternity to eternity from everlasting to everlasting from forever to forever from the vanishing point to the vanishing point 
God is blessed forever. The Lord is blessed, and it's because of his blessing that we are blessed. So having this at the end, as I say, is like the cherry on top of of the milkshake. It's that little surprise, that little wonderful little bite of goodness. And then we have Amen and Amen. Each time one of these books of the Psalter ends, we have the double Amen. And that's how you know you've come to the end of a book, when you have the double Amen. It's the end of this book, and we'll see it at the end of book two, three, four, and 5. So <clears throat> this is the marker that tells us we have come to the end of book 1. So I hope you'll join me next time as we look at Psalm 42 and we begin book 2 of the Psalter in Psalm 42. I hope that you'll join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.